Well, that's interesting. I think we're live. Looks like it. Okay. <laughs> All I see is my logo. So hopefully people can see us. Okay. All right, just double check real quick. Then we'll be start live. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't understand why it's the logo there. Okay, we are live, people can see us. So, little technical issues today. So, welcome everybody to the today's live. I am so excited to have a very special guest, a friend, uh, an entrepreneur, a healer, a light being. I mean, the list could go on and on and on, but I am honored to have my friend Cindy Hernandez here with me today. For those who don't know me, my name is Valerie McLaughlin. I am an intuitive heart healer and I help light beings see their own light and connect to their heart center magic so they can live a life full of love, happiness, and joy as they connect greater to spirit and create the life that they desire as the magical beings that we are. So welcome, Cindy. I am so happy to finally have you here. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Val. I appreciate this. This is going to be so fun. Um, talking about topics that are very, very, very exciting to me. <laughs> I have a feeling we may be going into a little bit different than just massage therapy today and the benefits of massage, but we'll try to stay on course. But I have yeah. a feeling that we're we might get a little sidetracked along the way, but whatever we deliver to these wonderful uh, beings of light is what is meant to be heard because you're not just a massage therapist, but you're also a coach. Yeah, all of the things, all of the things. All the things. <laughs> all of the things. So why don't you introduce yourself to everybody so they can get to know who you are? All right. So I'm Cindy Hernandez. I'm a licensed massage therapist. I'm also an NLP practitioner. So I work with the uh, neuro-linguistic programming, um, the subconscious mind, and working with um, hypnosis and all of the things that um, help us heal in a more healthier mentality. And also, um, what else do I do? Um, <laughs> that's it. I think it's just massage and just um, bringing both of those things together. Definitely, um, they work hand in hand. Um, and so, yeah we are going to get into like what massage does for you in all of the aspects. Like it, it really does help you heal in so many ways. And so that's going to be exciting. Um, yeah. I'm a mom, so I help, you know, mothers to um, find their relaxation and find a, a better way to um, handle things and release that stress. And so I don't know if you want to get started or what should we do? Yeah. So why don't you tell everybody um, how you end up getting to become a massage therapist? Like what led you to become a massage therapist? Ooh, that was like, <laughs> it was like a breaking point for me. Like that's where everything just started. Like I started realizing that I hated my life. Like I hated working for companies for, I hated working retail. I hated working um, the food industry. I hated all the things. So it was like, what can I do? What the fuck can I do <laughs> at this point? Like if, if nothing's working out. And then um, that's when my sister was like, you should, you should go to school for massage therapy. And I was like, eh, massage therapy, that's kind of weird. And then I started exploring it and it was like really interesting. I was like, I'll just try it. You know, what, what's, what's the worst that could happen? And I went to school for it and then 
as I went to school, like all of the things started happening. Like they led me to the perfect people to meeting different things. And then like, it led me to a whole different world. So that's how it started. I'm laughing at your story about your sister and you're like, oh, I'll try it because it kind of sounds familiar when my sister does things like that to, to be, which has been my whole life. But your sister is an older sister. My sister's the younger sister. So it's kind of funny. It makes me laugh. <laughs> um, so when you started to study in massage therapist, what was your um, initial feelings about it? It was really interesting. It was like, once I started working on people and how they reacted to the massage afterwards, like, oh my God, I felt this relief. I felt so much better. And that was just like the, the topical stuff that like, I wasn't even like into what I'm into now, like noticing where that, like when you're first starting, it's like, okay, they just teach you how to massage. They teach you the groups of, of muscles that we go through and it's nothing like too in depth until you start working on somebody and you start feeling all of their muscles and you start connecting all of the muscles and how they're all connected and how, how we get these knots, these quote unquote knots, they're tight muscles. And what it is, it's like a cumulative, like blood flow. It's like, it's all stagnant right there. So when you have that and releasing that and allowing that person to release it, it's like this feeling of like, you just like, pretty much healing you just healed my arm because now I have more flexibility because it's not crunched up anymore so it that feeling was like wow like that led me to like let me figure out more and then then it was like there's so much more that you can learn to massage therapy that's not just hands on it's like deeper stuff definitely de deeper stuff I mean just the yeah. history uh massage and how long it has been around in um with humans like how long humans have been practicing massage and what they've used it is it's absolutely amazing yeah so what are the reasons that people come to you right now it's mostly like people with like issues like um with their arm not being able to move their arm or their lower back or like pain like pain where they can't move and their mobility is very limited those are the people that i'm tracking right now like in the future i definitely want people to you know be coming in for their mental clarity too because that is all of a big part of it and that's how it allows them to release it completely but yeah that's what i'm doing right now is like the deeper work it's like figuring out where this muscle is contracting, where it's not allowing you to move your your whole arm a certain motion or where your lower back is tight and you wanna release it, like just allowing me to help you um, circulate more blood flow and allow you to release all the toxins that are in there. So you, you also work with, peer, with people for long periods of time. It's not like you see one client. I mean, you you may have those one-off clients where, you know, you might get one client as it just wants to come to you. Oh, because they want to massage. They want to loosen up, you know. But you have actually have worked with people for weeks and weeks and weeks. And tell us a little bit about their journey by being able to, to work with somebody for a longer period of time and what benefits they have received from receiving ma massages more regularly. Yeah, that's one of like the most common things. And like, usually when I see a client for the first time, that's the first thing that they ask, like, how often should I do it? Or like, how often should I be getting a massage? And my first instinct is like, okay, how long, how long have you not had a massage for? And if that's the case, if you haven't had a massage in a long time, I would suggest that you do it in a, like, in that time frame, once a week or like every other week so that I'm, I'm retouching and I'm not starting from new because what happens is like your muscles get back together. So right now that I have clients that see me regularly weekly, they're like, I need to see you again because this, this, I feel it healing so much. Like, like it's not, it doesn't hurt anymore for me to move it this way. I can, I have more range of motion. I have all of these things. So by them coming weekly, like 
you can see that the changes and I see the changes because I feel them. Like I feel everything that's going on in your muscles. And so when, when that happens, it's like, they have this, this like release, they have this release. And it's like, they almost become like, I want more of that. I want to continue to feel like this every single day. I want to continue to feel stress-free. I want to continue to feel like my body doesn't hurt. And that's what it does. Like, that's what massage therapy does. It's like, it helps you to release all the toxins, emotionally, physically, all of the things, you know? So you mentioned the word toxins a few times. So let's touch on base what toxins are. It's pretty much what we put in, in our body, like whatever we consume, whatever, like emotional stuff, whatever goes through us, um, that gets into our, our muscles. It gets into our blood flow. It goes into all the things and it happens regularly. And like, so our emotional state affects us. So that's why they say stress is from an emotion. It's from being stressed out. It's from being anxious. It's from being all of the things that aren't in the highest vibration, you know? So it allows you to, it, it brings in those toxins into your body and that's why you tense up and that's why your body stays that way and it hurts. And then when they come to see me, it's like, oh, I have all of these bumps. I call them speed bumps because that's what they are. <laughs> oh, I little love speed bumps. Speed bumps. Yeah. You see the little speed, I, I've used that term along the way um, in the work that I do sometimes uh, when somebody, it's like, oh, you know, I was going, I was going so good. And then all of a sudden, you know, now I feel like I'm all the way back where I start from. And I'm like, no, you just hit a speed bump. <laughs> and that's what it is. It's just a little speed bump. Yeah. I love the fact that you, when you talk about toxins, because a lot of people, when you talk about toxins and you refer to toxins, they think of um, like things that we eat and things that we drink. Um, they may even think about our environment, maybe stuff that we put on our, our skin, lotion, uh, sunscreen, different things, but not everybody thinks of toxins as coming from our emotions. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the biggest things. So like in the back of our head, we have 12 nerves. And when I just touch it, that allows you to release and it allows you to bring in like, um, what is it, the oxytocins. So all of the, the good feelings, the, the feeling of joy, you know, it allows you to release a lot. And we have 12 of those nerves back here, just, just 12, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's like your whole body. It, it really controls your whole body. Wow, that's, that's yeah. amazing. So, um, I, I really want to get into hip mo massage and how you got to that. And then maybe we'll backtrack a little bit, but what, what led you to start doing what you call hip mo massage and tell everybody a little bit about this. Um, so this, this was part of the journey. Like it was like, first it was massage and it was like, definitely like getting into all of the different modalities that massage has to offer because there's millions, like it's never ending. And it was like one of those things that I loved about it. It's like, I, I'm never not learning. I'm always learning. And that's with every therapist. Like we're not perfect. We're always learning and there's always more to learn. So that was one of the pieces. And then the next thing was like, I want to learn more. And then it was like, oh, I, I got, um, I got a coach for my mental health and how I could like, you know, overcome certain things. And when I took my NLP course, I was like, this needs to come together because I was brought here for a reason. Like there's a reason why I wanted to learn more about this. Now, how can we blend this together where it, it is like going to make a difference on people. And it, I started realizing that our mindset had so much to do with our muscles and how if we allowed ourselves to release something mentally, it allowed me to loosen up that muscle even more without having to go deeper, without having to put so much pressure on it. And so that's when I hypnosage came in and it was like, I need to have somebody in a fully relaxed state. And the hypnosis does that. Hypnosis puts you in a fully relaxed state where it's 
none of us are in, well, you're in control. The person that's on, on my client is in control of their whole thing, but they're allowing me to send stories and healing through the stories. It, it's not like this scary thing where, um, where you think that I'm in control and I'm going to send, no, I'm going to send stories for you so that you can start healing them subconsciously because we do a lot of these things subconsciously. And so I, I put you in that hypnosis state. I then go and I allow you to, I massage your whole body and allow all of that, all of those emotions that are coming in, all of those toxins that we were talking about, all of those toxins release. And I allow, it allows me to help you release them without so much pain. Cause you know, when, when people come in for a deep massage, it's like they want to get rid of the thing right away. And the thing is you can't get rid of something that quickly. Like it, some, some, some things are deeper and the muscles go deeper and deeper and deeper. It's not just when you're getting a massage the first time, it's like, okay, the top layer, that was just the top layer. And then the second layer and then the third layer, but you have to allow me to work on you in order for me to, to get down deep to it. But so that doesn't happen often people, because it's not, it's not explained that well, like your massage therapist often doesn't explain to you that, you know, um, it needs to go deeper. Like you need another session for me to go even deeper into that muscle. It's not going to disappear in one day. It's like saying, I'm going to work out in one day and I'm going to get abs. That doesn't happen that way. It's the same thing. Like I, I have to work a little bit deeper in order for you to release that even more. And there's ways that you can do it a little bit quicker. Like there's different modalities that you can do it a little bit quicker. And hypnosis is one of those modalities that allows you to release things a little bit quicker, but it still takes time. And it still takes time for you to start healing that one part in order for you to continue. Well, it, it, you know, I deal with this a lot too, with the work I do with the energy healing, you know, yeah. um, and it, and, you know, you can give somebody a very good boost and it really depends also where they're at. So like, if you have somebody that has come to you with the chronic shoulder pain, um, it's going to take a lot longer than it's somebody that all of a sudden just started to feel discomfort in their shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, because it's, it, they've had it a long time. Yeah. So you could give somebody a really good boost. And, but sometimes when you have something that's been there, that's deep emotions that you've been holding on to for years and years, it doesn't just disappear like that. Yeah. And so like, I want to add to that because, yeah, um, please. you know, you, this is something that you work with. So like suppressing your emotions, right? We suppress them for so long. This is what people do with their muscles. They're like, oh, I felt that pain, but you know what? I'm going to leave it there. It's, it's not bothering me that much where I have to go get it, um, you know, released or whatever. And so they leave it there and leave it there for years. 10 years later, they come in, they're like, oh yeah, I've had that pain for 10 years. Do you think you can get rid of it right now? Uh, yeah, I can try, but it's not going to go like as deep as you want to. It's going to take mm -hmm. a couple sessions. <laughs> yeah. But that's and I, like the, I love the analogy you gave about like going to the gym and getting abs. It's like when you talk to people about meditation or like, oh, I tried it. I'm like, how many times you try it? <laughs> well, I tried it one day and that was it. I'm like, it's like <laughs> you try to do one sit up and you think that one sit up is going to help you. You know, yeah. it's, it's a practice. And going and getting a massage, it, it's, it's a practice. It's a, yeah. you're, you're teaching the muscles to relax. Yeah. yeah. This is what I use, like the reprogramming, because you're reprogramming it because it, it was so used to being in a, a posture for so long. Now you have to like make it want to go back to a different posture that's going to better serve you. Because the one that it's working, that it's doing, it's not serving you in a positive way. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, so true. Um, so we, I, we've talked about, I, I actually want to follow up with this. So I've had a couple of sessions with you um, in person and online. Yeah. And um, which is something that when COVID happened, you started to do is do some of the hypno massage online. And um, I want to tell everybody, you know, 
you don't have to actually, there is benefits for actually getting a physical massage, but there is also great benefits by having a virtual hypno massage. Yeah. And the way that, that Cindy puts you in this relaxed state through hypnosis and then talks you through to reprogram your beliefs, it also connects you to your body and where in your body that you have to reprogram that. And so even though you're not physic, we're not here physically working on me, um, I could feel all those muscles around the area that needed to, that release just by going through the process with you. And it allowed it to release and let go. Yeah. And I felt so much better. I, I, it's funny. Cause I'm like, I remember feeling so much better. And I remember telling you, talking to you about it and how excited I was and how I felt, but I don't even remember at this point what we actually did, <laughs> what I, what was sore and what I was releasing, which is a great thing because totally reprogrammed that. Yeah. And it happens often too, with like hands-on massage. So like, I have like clients that'll be like, I knew that I wanted to come back to you earlier. And now I remember why, it's like you released all of that so quickly. And there was something that I wanted to say on the topic that you just said, um, uh, oh, about like, um, not physically touching. Mm -hmm. It's still healing. It's still allowing you to heal because you have now that connection with me where you can talk to me and we can, you know, communicate what's going on. So then you have that support, which is what, you know, causes us to stress out a lot is the, the fact that we feel like we don't, we're not supported, that we don't have anybody to, you know, help us out. So that causes us to stress out. And that's what causes our muscles to tense up. But if I'm still talking to you, that's allowing you to heal in a way that we can communicate, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And um, massage therapy is actually a form of energy healing. You know, it, they, you know, it is hands-on, it is touching most of the time, mm -hmm. but you are exchanging energy and you're using, you're using physical energy to actually um, manipulate the energy around the muscles and to loosen yeah. them up. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the, the positive effects that massage therapy has on your health. Um, what, what is your, what is the number one positive effect you see on people's health? Their physical health. It's, it's, good like i allow you to like release a lot of that so that your your posture is good so that you're not like this all the time because we feel that we feel that most of the time so that allows that the blood flow so one thing that it does for sure is it helps you circulate your blood flow even smoother because those knots are not allowing your blood to flow smoothly it's like ding ding um that's another thing it boosts your immune system and it reduces the cortisol, which is the, the stress hormone. Mm -hmm. So those are a lot of, there's so much that there's different types of massage that not different types. There's massage that helps for, you know, people that are, that have gone through cancer or are going through cancer. Like it helps, it helps them heal in a way, because what happens is like all of the stuff that they're, they're putting in your body so that you can heal, it allows you to heal it quicker. So one of the things, um, other thing is like, um, people with diabetes, um, people with like all of the, the health issues that, that people may have. Um, one of the things is fibromyalgia, which is one of something that I'm, exploring even more right now is because it it it's, <laughs> it has a lot to do with you know your mental state too so that's something that i'm exploring more on but it I can help you out today. that's you i i actually um i actually had been diagnosed with fibromyalgia yeah. and um over 
certain things that I've done, I have, uh, I, I was at one point taking 2,400 milligrams of Neurotin a day. And this is about uh, maybe 10 years ago now. And I turned around one day and I said, I'm not doing this anymore. And I just stopped taking it. Of course, my doctor wasn't happy with, with me in, in that, especially that when you're supposed to, but I just, I was like, I'm not doing this. Cause like every time I go back, it's something more because the pills weren't, weren't doing anything except for trying to alleviate the pain, the pain. It wasn't yeah. healing me. Yeah. And so I, I was very reluctant to actually want to take them, but at the same time, I, at that point in my life, I didn't have anybody showing me another way. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, massage therapy is definitely one of those things that it helps with that. And, you know, also being aware that the heat and the cold affects your body. So there's ways to work with it and figuring out what, what really triggers it mm -hmm. and what makes you flare up. Cause that's what it is. It's like your body feels this flare. I tell you one thing, um, stress definitely does add to it. Yeah. Stress because, um, it, it's like your nerve endings are, um, on fire sometimes, or they're, um, firing off. So if you ever like touch something and got shocked and then like, Oh, let me see if that, if that's where, and you did it again that's kind of like what your nerve endings are doing. And for different, different people, it's in different parts of your body. It affected my back a lot and my feet. My feet were affected a lot. Um, yeah. So you remember how I told you we have 12 nerves in our back of our head and those are caused by stress. Those make them, and imagine all the stress and then sending it all the signals to your to your nerves and your cells, that's what happens. So this is what's exciting because it's like, I want to explore it more so that I can help people even more in this situation because so many people go through it. Yeah, and but it's also about making that choice because the one of the things that I did at the time was I, I changed my diet because the diet is really big um, and I gave up gluten and dairy I gave up dairy. This is funny. I gave up dairy because my sister kept with me like, oh, you should give up dairy. It's going to help with inflammation. You're just, like, she just kept up with it. And I was like, fine, I'm just going to do it just to see how it happens. And when I did it, I gluten just followed. And that eliminating that from my diet made a huge shift in my body um, because it does cause inflammation. And when you have more inflammation, the nerves are shooting off even more. Yeah. And to me, um, by giving that up and feeling better, that was good enough for me. And I remember having a conversation with a friend of mine's mother and she's like, I have fibromyalgia. And I said, you know, you should really adjust your diet. And she's like, oh no, I can't do that. And I said, oh, that's your choice. I said, for me, adjusting my diet, I felt so much better. So that moment of pleasure of eating ice cream is it gave me so much pain it wasn't worth it yeah and but that's also a reprogramming mm -hmm. in yeah. in your whole mind yeah but there's there's so many different ways but like getting in touch with that but the the food that you eat is is so so important also yeah yeah See, i knew we were going to get off topic somewhere <laughs> But it's not really off topic. It's on topic because it's all about healing. And yeah. therapy it is something that really could, because the other part of it, you said it helps get your circulation and getting the blood flowing. And that yeah. helps your nerve endings. That, that, that's why, you know, people with diabetes, they have like neuro, neuropathy, getting the massage and getting the circulation back flowing would help in all that. And there are so many great benefits to your circulation moving and you wouldn't be so cold all the time or so hot all the time. You'd have this like balance because your, your blood's flowing the way it should be. Yeah. Yeah. 
So one of the things I wanted to say too is like about that, because when I do my cupping, I do massage cupping too. And one of the things that I let my clients know is that they have to have a good diet at least for 24 hours. Um, because what happens is what, what suctions out are all of the toxins. So all that toxic blood is actually coming out of your pores. Okay. You have to back up and explain what cupping is. Okay. So <laughs> cupping is like, I wish I had some here. Um, it's like this, it's an actual suction cup. It looks like a cup. And then it has like a, the ones that I have, I have a little gun that um, allows it to suction up all of the muscle. So it suctions up that part of the muscle wherever. So like I do it by parts because you're not, you're not supposed to um, detox your whole body in one session. Cause it's really, it's really draining and you don't want your blood to circulate like crazy. So you want to let it heal one part first and then do the another part or do the same part three times. Um, so I do that through packages because it, it's easier that way. And that's how it, it allows it to come out quicker. And so one of the things that I tell them is about the food, like you have to at least for 24 hours eat good so that the blood, the new blood flow that comes in is healthy. It's not coming, it's not like putting in the toxins in again or like whatever you put in your body. Like I ask you not to take a shower. Don't put anything in your body because that absorbs it. So like unless you're going to put essential oils or something that is healthier or healthy for your skin or for your blood flow, then yes, because it's actually going into your blood flow. So no alcohol, no, um, what else? Um, no shower, no exercise, no sun, because the rays hit your actual pores. And like, this is what happens when you get a cupping Sometimes, sometimes, this doesn't always happen. You get the red marks, you get red circle marks and they can be darker or they can be lighter depending on how, how much toxins are in that blood, um, it gets darker. So if there's not much going on and sometimes it doesn't change colors at all. And that means that there is no circulation in that area. Whoa. And so what happens is you need to keep on massaging it or keep on doing the cupping so that it circulates your blood flow. And that happens often too. Like there's parts of your body that, that don't circulate well. So like people with, um, that have like leg, don't have much um, circulation in their legs. Um, there are people like that. And so this helps it. This helps circulate all the blood flow. Regular massage does that too. It helps circulate all the blood but this helps it do it quicker and smoother. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, in, t it, in anything, um, with any type of healing modality, it's so true. Like the way, like after massage, you need to drink water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because that allows you to flush it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, when you get energy, when you get energy healing done, you need to drink water because you're, you have to cleanse your body and water does that. And, and even though it's not like a physical touching energy healing, not always, um, you know, it, it does do things in your body that will dehydrate you. I know when, when I do energy work, I'm like, I have to drink a gallon of water. Um, and sometimes I even crave salt, <laughs> um, afterwards. Cause I feel like I deplete some of that, even doing it. Um, but like the other day I got a, um, a hum I did a human design and throughout the, throughout the session, she's, she's like, you have water, you need to drink it. You need to drink it because your, your body needs to refill up with that water. It needs to rehydrate because we're doing the, doing it and it's pulling things out. So you need to put something in you to clean, clear and clean it out. And I, I just thought that was so interesting. Um, but it's true. Your, your diet is so important to you and your mindset. Yeah. Your mindset, whenever, you know, you are getting people started with doing their massage, like you're starting to loosen up their back, their shoulder, their hip, whatever it is that they, they, or all of them, all of the above. But if they're not shifting their mindset, 
or shifting what they're doing, or they keep pulling those their emotions back, they're going to be seeing you a lot more often and not feeling yeah. well. Yeah. So now that we're on that topic, I wanted to talk about like what what the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system do and how that affects your body and how it affects like when I'm giving you a massage, it allows you to not be in that. So your para, I'm going to explain what the parasympathetic is. So your sympathetic nervous system is your fight and flight mode. So this is what happens. What this is what happens when we're in stress. It's like we're panicked. We're like, there is no solution or we have to find a solution. And this is it. It automatically activates. So we need this. It's not a bad thing. It's just that we're always in it when we're stressed. So what happens is that our body takes in all of that stress and we feel it everywhere. We feel it on all over, like anywhere in our body. And so when we're in that constantly, it slows down our metabolism. It slows down all of the, all of the organs that it doesn't think are important at that moment. And so much of us are in stress all the time. So this past week I was in stress because I was learning new modalities for my massage and I had so much stuff going on. I had my clients and then I had to study. So I was in that parasympathetic, that sympathetic fight and flight mode. I was in that. So what happens is it decides what's important and what isn't important. So it says your heart's important. So anxiety, boom, 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 boom. And it says, um, it sends signals, but it slows down like the other things that aren't, it doesn't think are important. So then that doesn't really balance anything. So you're unbalanced. So then when you're, what massage does is it helps you get into your parasympathetic nervous system, which is your rest and digest, which allows you to work all of your organs, which allows you to relax, which allows you to have all of the good feelings which is what we need to find balance in. Not always be in that fight or flight. And what happens is that we're constantly in that flight or flight. And so now it's slowing down our metabolism. It's slowing down all the things. It's slowing down our immune system mm -hmm. because we're always stressed and we're always um, thinking of what's going to happen next. How do I figure this out? What do I do? Rather than allowing yourself to take that time for yourself and allow yourself to relax to allow your organs to do its job, allow everything to flow evenly. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, so that's, <laughs> it's, it's so true. Um, you know, uh, I took uh, money, body, mind and eating course. And um, that was the biggest thing is to slow down to eat. Because um, if you're, if you are, if you actually sit down and take a few deep breaths before you start eating, you put yourself in that relaxed mode. If you're pick up your, your food and you start eating, you're like, okay, I got to do this. I get, you're already in stress mode. So your metabolism is not working properly. Your digestive system is not working properly. And that's part of the reason why you have stomach issues, digestive issues. You can have gas and bloating because you're doing in that, but you know, our, that flight or flight was so good way back when we were like cavemen, so good when we are in like in situations where we actually have to, you know, lift a car off a person or yeah. run from an animal or something like that. But in today's society, so many things keep us in that stress mode, whether it's our thoughts or watching a TV show or listening to certain music. Mm -hmm. Um, or it's like, oh, I got to get here. I got to get there. I got to do this. And you're not in that present moment. Yeah. Um, there's so many different things that actually keeps you. you actually end up being in your stress mode more than you are in your relaxation mode. Mm -hmm. That used to be me. Not so much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's never a hundred percent because we get into those, but like, you know, it, I have definitely flipped it where it's definitely flipped drastically so if i was like 80 20 i'm now 20 80 which is good yeah 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 mm. but it's definitely about finding balance between them like we still need our fight and flight mode like if something happens it's like okay but mm -hmm. also knowing that we're not gonna die if you know things happen 
yeah. So when you um, when you work on clients, do you talk about the emotional part of it? I I do that when I'm doing my hypnosage because a lot of emotions do come up. A lot of things do come up where they have to release. And I haven't gotten to, uh, actually, yeah. You know what? When I have most of my regular clients, they come in and they tell me their problems. So like that's allowing them to release their emotion before they get on the table. So that happens, but it it's not where I've combined them completely. Like I have in the hypnosage, but I haven't done it in my regular practice as much. Besides the fact of asking them, you know, what's going on and how can I help you release that? Yeah. Um, it's uh, when you said that it made me think of hairdressers cause it's the same way. Yeah. You know, you yeah, get into the chair and you start talking to your hairdresser about all the stress and like you let it go and you, but you know, getting your hair done has that kind of effect on you too, depending it does. on. It. So, yeah. Um, so anything else you need, want to talk about those nervous systems? and the way they affect you and how it affects your emotions? Um, I think, um, let's see. So while you're thinking of that, I wanna um, actually maybe bridge into the spiritual aspect of massage. <laughs> you okay. know, a lot of people, Today, you know, they think about going to these uh, spas and some of them, not all spas are created equal. All, there's different spas. I mean, um, you know, there's some that are franchise and you just kind of walk in the door and then there's others that are like, kind of get you in, in and out. But then there's some that like really brings you into that relaxation mode um, yeah. and enlighten you maybe a little bit through the process. Yeah. But how do massage help you connect spiritually? Because you know me, when I talk about health, it's your body, mind, and spirit. It's not just one. Yeah. yeah, that's how I feel about massage too. It's like all, it's all combined. Like it's, there is no separation. It's like, it, it all leads to one thing. Um, and so it definitely helps with the grounding state. Like it allows you to ground and actually be present in that moment like allowing yourself to feel everything that's going on in your body. It, so this reminds me of when I do my hypnosage, I always, I always tell them to ground themselves as I'm doing my last part of the massage. So your feet definitely like, that's one of the last things that um, I work on too is the feet. So that allows you to ground yourself. Um, and then just like, it allows you to fully love your body like fully experience, like you're, you're here because your body is asking for it, right? You're coming to me because your body is asking for it and you're taking your time to come and see me to get that healing. So that, that in itself is like a very spiritual thing because it's like, you're, you're taking your time for yourself. And um, what else? I'm just going to say, oh yeah, the meditation part, like that's just, that's that. It's like th when you're getting a massage, you're in a meditation, you're in a state of meditative. Most of the people, some people can't, but that, but then that's where the talking comes in. And then that's their healing. That's mm -hmm. the spiritual part, part of it. It's like, you're allowing your soul to open up to me. I, I love what you said about, you know, connecting maybe you didn't say it this way, but connecting with your body and how that is like so spiritual. Hold on, I have a, a guest. Yeah. So, you know, what I, what I mean by that is like, um, we are all parts of body, mind, and spirit. And when we connect spiritually, sometimes we go, we tend to seem to, even though we talk about going within, sometimes we tend to drift without, with outside or ourself but our body is all part of our spiritual journey here on earth it's such yeah. a big part of our spiritual journey so to take that moment and connect with it through massage is amazing and when you said that like it was like um i had this really big connection with myself and tears that actually came to my into my eyes because it was just such a beautiful moment 
and that realization of how important that is for us as humans to connect with our physical body. Yeah. And that's just as, ex- as spiritual as going up and like connecting out, you know, we're, everything's within ourselves, but it just seems like when we, I, I know this was me. <laughs> I was actually thinking about it today. I went and saw Dr. Teresa and uh, some people I know that listen, have heard me talk about her before. And I went to get an adjustment today and I was sitting on the table today and I was like fully present and fully aware. And I, and I remember thinking, thinking at that moment, I was like, man, I remember being here where I could actually feel my astro body, like putting their hands down and pushing up because it did not want to be there and actually wanting to leave my body. And I had to struggle to keep it within me to keep that connection because we are here in, in the spirit and we are here in the physical form. So keeping our astro body, our energetic body within us helps us because when it keeps leaving, it affects us physically. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And that was like, when you said that was like this big aha moment for me. (laughs) Yeah all lining up for this moment, everything that I've experienced. (laughs) Yeah, there's so much like it's, I love massage, like there's so much to it. And I often I want to tell people and then I'm like, they're gonna get scared. (laughs) Gonna be like this, this nut job knows too much. (laughs) Okay, so let's just nail down three. We talked about a lot. But what do you think are the three um, biggest positive effect massage has on your health? Um, for sure, it is like your mental state. It has that big effect on that. It has a big effect on your physical body. So like anything that's on, like anything tight, anything it has that effect on you. It like releases completely. And then definitely the spiritual part where it's like, you're in another world. Yeah. And I, I like what you said too, that um, it really helps your immune system. It helps keep you yeah. healthy. It okay. does. It helps your immune system so much. Yeah. That's one of the things. Because when you're in fight and flight, it slows down your immune system. So when you allow yourself to relax and take that time for yourself, just imagine all of all of the good blood flowing, all of your immune system, all of your organs working in synchronicity like working perfectly like just imagine that like it's a (laughs) no-brainer um so we started off talking about like how'd you got how'd you how you got into massage therapy so why now do you stay with massage therapy it's really rewarding just to have somebody get off the table and be like I feel so much better. And it just that feeling of knowing that I can help somebody in that way. It's, it's another feeling. So I'm going to ask you another question. How did going to massage therapy school help you on your, your own personal journey? It helped me meet so many people that just started to lead me into that. Like, I didn't realize that, oh my God, if I could tell you how much you helped me, (laughs) like I was so, back then I was so dead. Like I wasn't, it was like, my life was just life. And then as I went through massage school, I started meeting the right people. And then those people started leading me to other people and then other people, and it just worked out. So now my mental state is amazing. And it allows me to work through, through situations where in the past I would have been stressed out. I would have been like, there is no way out. And then depression and then all of the things. So this has led me to a place where I can find solutions. I can actually know that there is a million options there are like i don't know there's so much 
<laughs> infinite possibilities. Yes, infinite possibilities. <laughs> infinite possibilities. I talked on my one podcast. I can't remember if it was the last one with ISIS. I think it was the last one where I channeled ISIS um, and not the one that's launching tomorrow. Um, they, uh, they all start to run together. But um, I, I talked about like where I am is like sitting in the hallway or in the waiting room. And you are sitting in this room and you have, you, you're like, you know, something's about the shift and change. You know that you're, a, you've left one classroom, so to speak, and you're waiting for the next one to show up, but you're like sitting in this waiting room and it's uncomfortable. But at the same time, if you actually take the moment in this moment that you're sitting here, you're actually creating the possibility. You're inviting that next door to actually open. Yeah. So um, I, why am I talking about this right here and right now is because when you do things like massage therapy to help you loosen up and let go, um, loosen up and let go. You're letting things go. And as you it go. let things go, you allow new things to come in. And yes, sometimes it's uncomfortable. We've both sat in this uncomfortable spot at one point or many points in our life, knowing that something's about the shift and change and you don't necessarily what do it, but also having the mental state. So doing that hip massage to allow yourself to let things go to shift your mental state. You're not sitting in that room and going, oh, man, what if this door opens and I go back and I'm hating life? Or, you know, what if I'm not good enough? Like those thoughts are not as loud because of work that you do. And you yeah. help people do that. And that, so they sit in this waiting room and that thought might creep up, but then something positive. But what if this happens instead? What if this, yeah, and it's not the what if game, but it's, it's more like, oh, but if I, when this door open, I walk through this, this is my, this is my destiny. This is my possibility. This is what I'm creating. And that thought of I'm not good enough is not as loud or I'm not yeah, deserving yeah. or holding on to those things. And doing that work with the massage therapy really helps people move through and see all the different possibilities they have in life. Yeah. yeah. And so I wanted to add to that. Um, I actually like with clients that I've had, um, they're like, I didn't think I was going to be able to move again. I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't ex like they thought that that was like something that they grew up with it, that they were born with pretty much and that it wasn't going to go away until you start healing that part and still you start releasing a lot. And then you start having more mobility and you're like, holy fuck, I'm alive. <laughs> like I can do things now that I thought that I couldn't do before. And now that gives you that lead way to like, now I can heal something else. Now I can heal other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you don't just do massage therapy anymore. You are a coach. And who are those wonderful people that you work with to help? Right now I'm, I'm focused on like the immigrant mindset and because I come from a Hispanic household and how to work with it in order for us to move past those barriers that are placed on us. And not knowingly, we, we allow these things to affect us emotionally. And we don't realize it until somebody tells us that we have options, that we have endless possibilities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I, I work with immigrant mindsets. And if even though you're starting this coaching practice, it's still important for you to keep your massage therapy going. Oh yeah. 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 They go hand in hand. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely do. And I totally agree with you. Um, it's so impactful, the work that yeah. you do and the way that you go about doing it. So tell us a little bit about your spa and how people can get in touch with you. Right now I'm in Brigantine. So I have a little, a little tiny studio in Brigantine that I work out of. Um, and I'm there Tuesday through Saturday. Right now I'm not working as often because of COVID, but um, 
after you know things get back to normal i'm still there and i am online so if you want to do a virtual hypnosage that's still on my website and you can book book at cinderellaspa.com and yeah the hip the hypnosage is still really oh, really amazing like the is. breakthroughs that people have it it's really it's really every every like person is different so every like you don't know what to expect and then it it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing i've done two virtual hypno massages with you since covid and i have had big shifts and changes after both of them and they they have been very impactful if you ask me what i what I, we worked on, I can't tell you, but that's a great thing because we reprogrammed it and we left that behind and we moved on and we moved through. Um, but I know that like I had big, big shifts and changes in my life by doing them. And, you know, it's, it, it's gets you in such a relaxed state that your muscles just like it and, and the fibers just, yeah. I could feel them just expanding and opening. And I know everybody's a little bit different and everybody's going to have a different experience, but the more yeah. that you actually do it, depending on where you are in your life, the more that you will connect with it and open it up. And I've actually had somebody tell me too, that every time that they've had a, a hypnosage, because I've done one um, hands-on and I've done one virtually and she's like, each time that I do it, I go into a different space. And each time it's so different. <laughs> that, is interesting. that is true. Because I also did one in person beforehand. I mean, um, when I first started. <laughs> yeah, when you first started. And then um, I did the, the two here. Uh, yeah. And the one I went into a really full spot, like totally let, meditated off into some different astro plane that I was on, um, which is really it was always fun when you can go on different astro planes, um, which maybe I have to go and talk about this on a podcast or something. But uh, what are some final, final thoughts you have for people? Any final thoughts? Like what? Final thoughts. Final things that you want to say that maybe we didn't cover? Mm. Right now I'm thinking about actually adding the cards. I did this one, like the tarot cards or Oracle cards. I did this one session where I, I hadn't thought of it before. And I knew I, I, I told you how, how smoothly it works for you doing the tarot cards and then doing the healing or, or vice versa, you know, like it works so smoothly. And so I did the tarot cards and the Oracle cards for a client before the session. And it's so fucking magical. It's like they release it emotionally and they know what they have to, to release and continue to work on. And then you get to do it physically. So that was pretty amazing. And now it's like, I need to do this more often. I absolutely love that. Um, and I do like anybody who book a session with me, 60 minute, 90, 90 minute. Um, I used to call it like 90 minute intuitive reading and healing, but then even the 60 minutes have become like guidance or sometimes it just somebody will book a healing and it ends up being all like guidance because that's what you needed to heal at the time. But it is like to hear that come through and, and go through, um, work with what is aligned with you to kind of shift that energy. It's so powerful either way. Yeah, I have my cards sitting here. I have not picked them up. I haven't in the last week either. Um, I, I actually, I, <laughs> sorry. My, you know my guides make me laugh all the time. You guys watch me. I, they make me crack up. And when I said I haven't touched them and they go, because you're not allowed. <laughs> they, they, um, they, they did ask me to not use them because I don't need to, to really start channeling the information and guidance to come through. And as I talk about it, um, and so when I do my work for Enlighten, like I bring the cards, but I haven't actually been using them as much, um, but they're sitting here. And usually like during one of these, I'm even playing with them, but they're, <laughs> they're, you're not allowed to touch them. 
but uh, <laughs> it's, it's amazing how you shift and evolve. So now you feel comfortable, you're using the cards. One day, I guarantee that those cards are going to be put on the shelf and you're just going to channel the information and guidance for your clients before you get on and start. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I wanted to add, so I'm taking a course right now and it's Yo Massage. Yo Massage is yoga, massage, and mindset. So it's working on, you know, the yoga poses, but it's not like it's relaxed yoga. So I, I, I have a lot of bolsters, a lot of um, blankets, a lot of things that are going to allow you to like lay into the position for at least 10 minutes and get that stretch. And mm-hmm. then I work through the mindset, which is like the breathing, the mindful breathing and allowing yourself to release that. It's my little kid. <laughs> and then what else? Um, the massage. So then I go through and I, I help people work through that. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I, when you said yoga and like the first thing I thought about was yin, where you hold the poses for a long, a long time. Um, and because that also allows that allows the cartilage to actually start to which is amazing. Yeah. which so, i only i only learned when i took the class out in california i never learned about it when i took another class but when i took the class in california like she explained it i was like oh yeah so we have before our skin i forget what this is called before our, after our skin we have a layer and it's like a web, it's like a cobweb. Mm -hmm. And that layer is what stretches. Because what happens is after, you know, when you have like, you hurt your your elbow or whatever, you leave it like that for a long time. And then what happens is the cobwebs get like stuck there. They don't wanna stretch out. So this allows you to stretch them out so that you have more mobility in there. And then the massage yeah. helps it like release completely. Hey, little Batman. How's it going? I got to play Lego Avengers too. Nice. So I have a question for you. Do you allow mom to do massage on you? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like it? Yeah. What does it help you with? What does it help you with? Make me, make me, leave me alone. Yeah. Well, we got some full house now. (laughs) Say goodbye. Mm -hmm. I I love it. All your little helpers. I know these guys know me well. They feel very comfortable coming in here. They're great. There are magical beings themselves. Yep. <laughs> oh, see, you got a little shout out from your son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he gets a lot. <laughs> and it's, at, you know what? It, now I know why they came through because we always look at it as adults as doing this. And this is one of the things that I always talk about is like one of my passions is to work with kids. And I'm blessed because you allow me to work with your kids. And I say allow because not all parents do. Like parents will come to me for themselves, but will not allow their kids to do it. But kids need it too. Kids need yeah. massage too. Yes. Especially infants, all of the kids need massages. They, they're stressed from you yelling at them. <laughs> they are, they, they get stressed, they do. Even from school, like imagine like all of the kids that, you know, go through bullying or feel like they're left out or whatever. They, they, they get all of that. They, they do need massage too. Why do you say especially infants? Because they're so little. <laughs> And they do, they need that, like, that affection. And the massage does that. Uh, Massage gives you that affection, that love. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't realize, um, not always realize that they have a very traumatic experience when they're born. Yeah. And that some of the things that you are dealing with now as adults 
are from when you were actually birthed into this world. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it goes back to before you were birthed into this world, like when you were conceived and, and, you know, the development in the womb, but a lot of it does come through that actual birthing because you come from this little like cocoon to boom, you're out in this like crazy world and you're push through this little tiny hole and like have to squeeze yourself through it. Um, they're yeah. like just, and, and like, you know, you twist and, and all those things around. And, and, you know, so I have a nephew that he like dislocated his shoulder when he was born. So what happens is like a lot of people are scared to touch, you know, the wounded areas, but if you just do it lightly so that the blood flows there it allows it to heal so much quicker yeah 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 so favorite. i'm so blessed that your kids came in so we could talk about this <laughs> and we yeah. got the yeah yeah see things always line up and happen for a reason yeah we're, we're both in a point in our lives where we understand and appreciate those little signs yeah all right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really thank appreciate you for having me. This was fun. Um, and remember, everybody, uh, in the show notes, I'm going to have the link to Cindy's website so you can go check her out and book your session with her um, or work with her with her coaching program. It's a, it's absolutely amazing and um, very, very, very needed in this world. So. Um, until next time, I am sending all my love to all of you go out and spread some love in this world and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye for now.